California has been through one of its worst winters in recent memory, with epic storms causing widespread destruction and deaths. The state experienced heavy rain and snow amid the driest 22-year period in at least 1,200 years, according to a study published in the journal Nature. The sponge that is our watershed was very, very dry leading up to this water year. And if you dump water on a sponge that's next to your sink, it's going to have to fill up that sponge before it begins to overflow and actually enter the sink. Same is true with California. And the sponge that we have is very big because we're not we're talking about not just long term depletion of soil moisture, but also long term depletion of our groundwater reservoirs of, of our aquifers. A record amount of rainfall in some parts of California have replenished the statewide reservoir storage about 80 percent of its average. Uh, that's a substantial improvement since Christmas, but some of the largest reservoirs that are really important for water supply, like Lake Oroville and Lake Shasta, uh, still have lots of space in them because they weren't under the, under the path of the wettest storms. Data compiled by the U.S. Drought Monitor showed nearly 40 percent of the state in extreme drought last year. As of January, that same portion of the state remains under severe drought. Lake Mead, which provides water for 25 million people across five states, saw its water level at an all-time low last July, and projections suggest it could continue to fall this year. And another critical indicator is the amount of snowpack on the Sierra Nevada mountains, which recorded above average levels in the earlier months of the winter, but for how much longer? This is a traditional wet month that is actually starting off pretty dry. And given where the forecasts are, that dryness is um, expected to continue. As Sean mentioned, what's important about that April 1 date is also um, that's the traditional day in which our snowpack is the highest, is at its peak. What is happening with climate is the timing of that peak is also changing. So we really don't know here on February 1st whether or not this is the peak of our, of our snowpack. For years, California has been in desperate need of rain and snow. But the downpours in recent months, aside from causing severe destruction, have helped the state get out of extreme drought. But experts warn there's a long way to go. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.